Hello, my name is Robert Ulle. I'll be playing the character of George from the play All My Sons by Arthur Miller. My life turned upside down since then. I couldn't go back to work when you left. I wanted to go to Dad and tell him that you were going to be married. It seemed impossible not to tell him. He loved you so much. Annie, we did a terrible thing. We can never be forgiven. Not even to send him a card at Christmas. I didn't see him once since I got back from the war. Annie, you don't know what was done to that man. You don't know what happened. You couldn't know. You wouldn't be here. Dad came to work that day. The night foreman came and showed him the cylinder heads. They were coming out of the process with defects. There was something wrong in the process. So Dad went directly to the phone and called here. and told Joe to come down right away. But the morning passed. No sign of Joe. So Dad called again. By this time he had over a hundred defectives. The army was screaming for stuff and Dad didn't have anything to ship. So Joe told him. On the phone he told him to weld. Cover up the cracks in any way he could and ship them out. I'm not through now! Dad was afraid. He wanted Joe there if he was going to do it. But Joe can't come down. He's sick. Sick! He suddenly gets the flu? Suddenly? But he promised to take responsibility. Do you understand what I'm saying? On a telephone, you can't have responsibility. In court, you can always deny a phone call, and that's exactly what he did. They knew he was a liar the first time. But in the appeal, they believed that Ryan lie, and now Joe's a big shot, and your dad's the patsy. What are you going to do now? You gonna eat his food? Sleep in his bed? Answer me! What are you gonna do now? For my next monologue, I'll be performing Killing Chuck by Gabriel Davis. I just fucking killed Chuck. I think. I mean, he's just laying out there. He's not moving. I don't think he's breathing. I mean, okay, there I was on the roof with Marissa, talking and laughing, having a good time. I tell her she reminds me of Sandra Bullock. I tell her I love the movie Hope Floats. <laughs> Who knew those would be the magic words? Next thing I know, her clothes are off and we're loosening roof shingles like there's no tomorrow. Then there's biting and kissing and touching. And suddenly someone starts beating on me. I mean, just pounding on me and growling. <laughs> yeah, growling. And I look up, and there's Chuck. And I'm like, what's the problem? And he says, the problem is, dude, that's my fucking girlfriend. And I look at Marissa, I'm like, you're someone's girlfriend? And she says, no. Then it comes out that he just wishes she was his girlfriend, but actually she's his cousin or something. <laughs> then he's got these feelings of guilt about wanting her. And then he starts crying. <laughs> so that ruined the mood. Marissa puts her clothes on and goes down through the window back into the party. And I'm left with Chuck. Blubbering, whining, crying Chuck. Then he starts in about how he's just told fuck up and maybe he should just jump off the roof. And for a second I'm thinking, yes, do it, throw yourself off the roof. But I don't say that. I say, um, buddy, you're gonna find a girl, but just maybe not your cousin, huh? Then I give him a friendly pat on the back. A nice manly slap on the back. He looked heavy. Who knew he'd go flying? Who knew he'd go flying right off the roof? <laughs>